I'm Rindon with EastIdahoNews.com, and in this video I want to show you a free alternative to Microsoft Office. So this is going to include tools just like Microsoft Word, Excel, and presentations. Oh, the only difference is it's completely free, you never have to pay for it, and it's continually being updated. The program I want to show you is called LibreOffice, and I'll show you how it works right now. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to download and install LibreOffice if that's something you want to do. But once it's installed, like it is on my computer, you can just get to it by clicking on the launcher from the desktop. It'll also be on your start menu in your newly installed programs. Or if you're using Macintosh or Linux, it'll be wherever your newly installed programs are found. When you first open it up, you have the option to create a writer document, which is like a Microsoft Word document, very similar. Calc spreadsheet, very similar to Excel spreadsheets has a presentation tool, has a drawing tool, has math formula for creating mathematical expressions, and then a database program. And all of these are very, very similar to their Microsoft counterparts. So if we click on the spreadsheet, for example, it looks pretty similar to what an Excel spreadsheet would look like. We can put text in these cells, we can put numbers, we can do different math. In fact, a lot of the formulas for the cells are the same. A lot of the shortcut keys are the same. So if you're used to using Microsoft Excel, you're not going to have too big of a learning curve coming over to LibreOffice. In fact, very minimal. We can highlight the cells. We can do center or have it be right justified, different things like that. We can reference different sheets. We can reference like uh, a value on this sheet and have it be linked between sheets. So you can do a lot of the same things that you can do. You can sort, uh, if I want to sort, oops, let's do numbers. We can sort numbers in ascending or descending value. So it just gives you an idea. And then when it comes time to save the file, we can export it as a PDF if we don't want anyone to modify this file at all once we're done. We can save it in this .odf format, which is a format that LibreOffice and other open source programs use like OpenOffice. We can also save it in compatibility mode to work with Excel. So we can save it in an actual XML or XLS uh, format that will work with Microsoft Excel. And the person using it won't even know that we used LibreOffice to create it. So a lot of students use this a lot for, let's maybe get back here. If we open up a writer document, like a Word document, a lot of times professors at universities will require their students to use Microsoft Office. Well, all they really mean is it has to be saved in a docx format which we can do with libreoffice we just go save as and then we change the format to microsoft word 2007 2010 2013 docx when we save this uh, we can call it uh, we'll just call it homework and then we can save this file we can say use microsoft word 2007 2010 2013 and now when we send it to our professor he'll be like oh this is awesome. This student is using Microsoft Word. He doesn't even know we're really using LibreOffice, the free program. Uh, so it's really great that way. And all these tools are going to be the same too. We can go center, right justified. We can change uh, our font style. We can change the actual font that we want to be using. Uh, change the font size. I'm just going to give you a, just a quick peek you know, at some of the things that you can do. You can insert charts uh, into the document. So just a lot of similar things that you would find uh, if you were using Microsoft Word. Some of the icons are in different places. Some of the way you do things, uh, ways you do things might be a little bit different. I'll show you quickly here the presentations, how this would work. It's just entering some sample text in here. Uh, we can change the background if we right click and say uh, set background. We can choose an image from our computer. And then this will be the background for all these slides. We can add a new slide and add uh, different slides for a presentation. And again, just like with Excel, just like with Microsoft Word, we can actually save this to be compatible with Microsoft PowerPoint, their presentations. So, and we can also open up PowerPoint presentations and edit them in here. We can open up Word documents and edit them in here. So that's just a quick peek at LibreOffice. I use it every day. I use it both in my business and personally. Uh, I use LibreOffice all the time and I'm a huge fan of it. There's not any, it's not like a free trial or anything. It's, it literally is free software. Now what it is, it's open source software, which means it's made up of contributing volunteers all over the world, programmers that volunteer their time and groups and organizations that volunteer to make changes to this software. And it's, it's released under a special license that's an open source license. Let me go to LibreOffice here. 
Uh, and this license makes it possible for people to use it, download it, modify it if they want to, and redistribute this program. It's very, very few restrictions on how you can use this program, which is why it's used a lot in schools, libraries, nonprofit organizations, uh, third world countries, churches, because there's so little uh, infringements on how you can use this software, and it's free. It's owned collectively by the people who use it. So to download LibreOffice, you can go to, to LibreOffice.org, just click on the download icon and it'll automatically detect what operating system you're using, whether it's Windows or Macintosh or Linux. And then you'll click save file. When that file is done downloading, you'll just click on the download link, uh, the downloaded file, and you can then install it on your computer. So that's LibreOffice, completely free software for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. I'm Rindon with EastIdahoNews.com, and if you found this video informative, go ahead and check out some of our other videos here at EastIdahoNews.com, and leave your comments and questions below, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks.